With your hair secured, you're ready to begin your backcombing process. Take a look at the amount of hair that you have and budget that hair so that your sections are about the same size. For this amount of hair, I'm going to do four dreads, which means that I'm going to split it in the middle and then again, about half for each side. The secret to backcombing is that the hair actually backcombs from the ends. Since there aren't any ends in your upper region of the hair, you need to actually push those tips up into the roots so that it starts to create those nice tangles. The way that you do that is you start out with big sweeping motions with your backcombing. From there, you're going to start tightening down that backcombing into smaller sweeping motions. If you start to create loops within your backcombing, reach up and just pull them down because you don't want any big loops coming off of your sides. That's just gonna add irregularities to your dreads. With each pass, your comb won't slide nearly as far. The knots will begin to tighten down and your dread will become much more solid. Once your dreadlock has an even consistency with the back combing from root to tip, you are ready to move on to your next section. Once you've completed back curling for all of your dreads, you're ready to move on to your waxing or your perming process.